why did I have an iPhone wire? And now I don't have an iPhone wire, I have a cheap crap one in replacement of it. You also got mixed up, haven't you? I want an iPhone wire back, please, because they're the best. And I want an iPhone wire, not a cheap crap one. You got mixed up? Let's go buy one. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm having an iPhone wire back that I own. Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dine YouTube channel. Welcome to a video all about the worst bike I own, but also the best bike I own. Let me explain why. Now, I put off some jobs in my life, but this is a job I put off for quite literally one whole calendar year. I bought this bike about this time last year with the intentions of riding it through winter in the Derbyshire lanes, and I didn't because I rode my good bike all winter because I wanted to ride that. I couldn't bring myself to ride something that was heavier than I was currently riding because I wasn't riding very well. Now, I'm still not riding very well, but I'm going to ride this because I'm going to be upgrading my Canyon and Joyce to be a proper out and out climbing bike, which means I need a bike that I can use when it is wet. I'm not a fan of going out when it's icy or when it's raining, but often it's wet in the morning. So having a bike that I don't care too much for like the drivetrain and the wheels and stuff is a big advantage. So this is it. This is, it's a race like Kinesis or Kinesis race like. I don't know exactly what model it is. T. Okay, I don't know if that's a thing or not. Anyway, it's basically, the whole thing cost me 300 pounds and I paid 100 pounds for the wheels, but then I have had to buy a separate box of stuff. So uh, this video is basically me like refreshing it when I got it last year. It was in usable condition, but I've just left it stand for a year. So I'm gonna be changing things like brake cables, uh, chain, uh, tires, uh, I think that's about it. So it's got a compact gearing, so it's got 5034 crank, which is good for the hills, and 175 mil cranks, which is the same as my road bike. Uh, the cassette isn't very big, I think it's only a 28, is it, or 26, I don't even know. Uh, and it's 10 speed Campag with the world's most weird looking shifters, but I don't care. Like, as long as it works, it's gonna, it's gonna be okay. All I've done up to yet is I've made it the same geometry as my Canyon Endure, so the saddle height is correct and the bar height is correct, which means I do need to trim that stem when I get hold of a junior hacksaw. So yeah, I mean, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna uh, put, oh, brakes, right, so bike parts are through the roof price wise at the minute aren't they and you can't really get hold of stuff so where possible i'm going to be using stuff and extending the life of it however some things you do just need to replace so like these brake calipers for example i mean they're all rusted they weren't they weren't um like coming back out again after they closed together and i thought do you know what i'm going to take them to bits uh, i'm going to wire brush them down clean them up grease them up paint them etc however i thought do you know what let me just have a look on the internet how much they are first uh, and i found a pair on planet x for 25 pounds, I thought, well, for 25 pounds, I will just replace them on that occasion. The rest of the stuff we're gonna try and fit. So uh, what have I got to put on? Um, uh, a, a saddle thing, uh, a new chain, because that is looking past its best life. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, tires, got some Vittoria Rubino Pro tires, which are supposed to be winter tires. To be honest, these are pretty much like one of the cheapest ones I could find. I think they were £20 each, which isn't, which isn't super cheap for bike tyres, but got a little bit of tread on. They're supposed to be really puncture resistant, uh, better than the Victoria courses that are on there at the minute. They would not last very long at all. Um, and it's the TPI rating you're supposed to look for, apparently. 150 TPI, whatever that is. 23 so I can get under the mud guards. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get this thing refreshed. Okay, so let's get the brakes done first. Now, when I took the calipers off, I did mess up the wire that is already in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip off that wire there and then pull it through from the top because that's got a little lug on it. So I'm gonna pull that through. And then annoyingly, the new cable has actually got two ends on. I can't, I don't think. I don't think the Shimano ones come with two ends on, but these are obviously different. So I'm gonna snip off the one that isn't the, the type that this takes, and then it's gonna hopefully not fray so I can push it through the cable but wire. So cable housing, whatever, but we'll see how this goes. But anyway, Liz has ruined my evening of tinkering by shouting me in for tea. Elizabeth, you okay? No. Good day? Mm -hmm. What's for tea then? Katsu stir fry. And what's involved in a katsu stir fry? Is that what? Vegetables, mm -hmm. noodles, mm -hmm. katsu sauce. Excellent. What's katsu sauce made out of? Not got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, cheers. Erding it tonight. Thanks, Tricy, for leaving this at our house. I've got a sore throat. This isn't good, is it? No. I knew it was inevitable. Trying not to catch cold from the person who I live with, but... We're not sleeping the same as me tonight. <laughs> Why not? I don't want the cold back, thank you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Tea time. 
Okay, I've just finished tea, which was lovely. I'm going to get back in the garage in a little while, but I'm just going to go to Argos in Sainsbury's and try and exchange my drone for a new one because it is not working. There's an error code on it. I've crashed it a little bit, but it worked last time I used it, so I don't think the crash is the cause of the fault. Anyway, I'm going to try and see if I'll swap it. I am about four days inside of six months. I read up on the Consumer Rights Act, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, the main purpose of this clip is that Liz has just been really nasty to me. Elizabeth, what did you just say to me? I said... You're gonna get a haircut soon, you're about due for one. And then I said, are you gonna try somewhere else this time? Because I don't think that hairdresser is the best. What do you mean? Wow, there's bits of different lengths. Yeah, it's the style. It's got a funny quiff. No, <laughs> it's the style. She don't trim the back properly. She don't trim your ears. She's a bit eccentric, but she's a good fun, and it's only eight quid. What do you reckon? I'll try somewhere else. Okay. I only had to quote the Consumer Rights Act like four or four times. Try again. Go to the Monsoon Hill Climb this weekend. You're going to get some sick drone shots. So see you there, but let's head back in the garage and finish this damn bike. Why is it nothing, nothing goes to plan? I'm sick of seeing videos on YouTube where people do like bike mechanics. They're like, oh, change this part, great, let's go ride bikes, bro. That's never the case for me. So, front caliper changed. It's okay, but if you look at the brake pads, they're towards the top of the wheel, but that's all right, it's clearing the wheel. Uh, these brake blocks are the ones that came with the uh, brake calipers. They're not the best. I have got the, some Swiss stock pads and normal calipers, but you know what, I'll wear through these in the winter, then I'll swap them with the other ones. But the rear one, it's just too short of a reach, the caliper. So, when I pull the brake lever, you know, the pads touching the, the tire, and that's all the way down on the caliper. And the other side, that's one of the old pads, so a slightly different mount, and even still, that's still touching the tire. So, I'm gonna need to get like a longer reach rear caliper, because of course you can't change where it's mounted or anything, it's just there. So I have to get ones, ones with longer arms, but why? <laughs> the same length as the one I took off as well, they look the same, but evidently they're, they're probably slightly longer, these ones, but I can't use those, they're all seized up. But... Goodness sake, nothing ever goes to plan, so I need to source a rear caliper, but at least I'm doing it this week, but I'm not really training much. Um, what else am I gonna do? Let me just swap this chain before. In fact, I'm not gonna swap the chain. It's five to nine at night. I'm going inside, sitting down watching TV and going to bed, because I don't feel very well. Um, not, not a super productive evening, but I needed to go to Argos and sort that drone out. Glad to get the front end sorted at least, and he's changed the tire, then the front end is pretty much done chain to change and rear brake caliper to sort and then tires to swap. Still quite a bit to do, but I'm not training much this week, so I've got time to do it. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any winter bike maintenance tips, please let me know. I'm gonna just, just sort of kick this out with everything it needs, pump, spares, and then it's gonna be the winter workhorse. And that's it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already though, please do hit the subscribe button down below. It means a, a great deal to me. And I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. for, um, I'm hoping to get out for a run tomorrow. I know I said that yesterday, but I'm really hoping to go out tomorrow.